All right, guys, we got to talk about e-bikes. The current market is an absolute joke. It's been like that for a while, but I've really just sat back and thought about it, and I'm kind of over it. Over the past couple years, I've got the chance to work with multiple companies, Velotrick being one of them, more on that later. But I really got a chance to see what was going on behind the scenes, and I'm just tired of it. Every single day, I get an email from a company that I've never heard of wanting me to review their product, push it, try to promote some sales, and they're all just advertising the next gimmick and just trying to make a buck. Back in 2020, recreational activity sales skyrocketed, and e-bikes being one of them. A lot of retirees, campers, they really targeted this age group successfully. And look, I have no problem with more competition. That usually means better products in the long run, but that's what I have a problem with is it's just not the case. A lot of these companies are just paying people to say positive things and to just rack up a bunch of fake positive reviews in order to sell their mediocre bike. And like a lot of other channels, I could have cashed out on this and taken a lot of these opportunities, but I was very picky and at the end of the day, it's not really my thing. This channel mainly revolves around dirt bikes and experiences outdoors. And I wanted a way to tie the e-bikes into that but in reality, that's not so much what the companies wanted. It was more about advertisements and just wanting me to talk for a 10 minute video about their bike. And that's just not what I'm here to do. And I know a lot of you that are here watching this are smart enough to recognize the BS and what some people are just trying to sell you, but there's a lot of people that aren't. So I've always tried to be careful about what I say and just make sure I'm being authentic when I do release one of these videos. But hats off to the companies out there that actually care about their brand and that is the difference there are some companies out there that are trying to build a name for themselves rather than just caring about the dollar signs of course it's always going to be a mix of both but that's what i always liked about velotrick now when i hear velotrick i automatically have an image of my head the logo their bikes they all use a very particular styling that none of the other brands are using i know somebody that was going to start up an e-bike company it's really not that hard. And basically, China just gives you a big book of different frames to choose from. And this is something that pretty much everybody has access to. So constantly you're seeing similar designs and the same thing being reprinted with some different text on there. And it's just to the point where it's so oversaturated that a lot of these companies have no depth. They have no value. There's no substance. And once again, that's what I appreciate about Velotrick is they actually care about the brand they are making it a point to have an American-based team that gives you decent customer service, and they're constantly working on improving their next model, but also staying true to their roots with the styling, the features, and the price. These bikes fall into the budget category, and that makes it accessible to a lot of people. If you want a top-of-the-line premium electric mountain bike, you go to one of the big box stores, you're going to pay a lot of money. I'm talking you can spend close to 10 grand, and at the end of the day, it's a freaking mountain bike. So a brand like Velotrick, they do a really good job of maximizing the money that they have to spend to keep the cost down. They use quality drivetrain components, the batteries, the motors, but I feel like some people just have such high expectations and you really do get what you pay for. But there's a balance and in this price range, Velotrick is definitely one of the better ones. And while the Nomad is the off-road performance model, they aren't meant to be sent off jumps and to be doing gnarly single track, but I've done it and I've gotten away with doing it and I've had a blast doing it. Where this bike shines is in a cruiser style environment over long distance. I've done all of the technical videos already. I'm not gonna get into that, but a bike in this class is really good at going 40, 50 miles. And you would be surprised what something like this can actually do. Especially out here in the desert, the fat tires are amazing in the sand, even better than my dirt bikes. The weight helps a lot with that. This thing kind of just floats on the surface. I've gotten the chance to rack up a lot of miles out here in different conditions from the sandy washes to some of the rock here single track and it really made me appreciate how much fun you could have and how much you can actually do for the money so i'm at kind of a crossroads here i really do respect and appreciate the fact that the price point and what you get makes it accessible to a lot of people but i am sick and tired of seeing brands just carbon copy and recreate all of the same stuff i'm not gonna say i'll never do another video of an e-bike on this channel again because i probably will but it's not my thing and it's gonna take something either really cool and innovative or a fat paycheck but that stuff will be on the second channel adventure electric 
electric. I've done so many at this point where I just feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again. And I do just want to give a thank you to Velotric for supporting the channel and for actually doing something different. If you check out their website, their social media pages, they really do care about the brand and the name that they're building. It's one of the few that I feel like are going to make it the long term and especially now when sales are kind of down, I can see them making it through this and still continuing to thrive. So I wish more companies would take note of that and just buckle down and be in it for the long haul. Do something different, be innovative, creative. The gimmicks are just so cringy in this industry and so many different brands are focusing on the wrong thing. So once again, thank you to Velotric. We ended up reviewing three models in total. My favorite being the Nomad One. We did both the Discover models as well. We got a Lexus the step through. I wanted to get a female's perspective on the bike and she was able to ride that thing no problem being five foot tall. So obviously I'm kind of biased being that I'm into off-road so the Nomad worked out great for me. I don't know if I'm supposed to mention it but they have a new model coming out soon and they're constantly working on what's going to be next. So I'm excited to keep my eyes on them and see what they do in the future. I think my highlight of the Nomad ownership was definitely when I took it to the mountain bike trails and rode it on the single track and took it off some jumps and really put it to the test and that was the first ride too so very comfortable easy to ride the seats are nice everything held up and I can definitely recommend these things coupled with the customer service that thankfully I've never had to use. It's a good package for a really good price and if you are interested I will leave a link down in the description. But apart from that just some closing thoughts. Like I mentioned before they are really for the retirees somebody wanting a cruiser a good commuter if you live close enough to work this is a great option to save some money on fuel. Even being into action sports and riding hard enduro and dirt bikes and doing a bunch of crazy stuff I still have fun on these bikes. I also have a regular mountain bike with me and I think the biggest difference is the range you want to travel. A lot of people look at the electric mountain bikes as cheating and I just don't feel that way. You're still going to get a workout but you're going to be able to travel way further. Even to get to this location right here if I would have done it on my regular mountain bike I would have been gassed. So if you're in an area where you want to be able to explore more and less time that's where the e-bike comes into play. You can use the same amount of energy energy but see that much more and obviously with the different assist levels you can tone it down to where you're getting more of a workout and vice versa so is this going to replace a regular mountain bike no because like i said these things aren't meant to be jumped and ridden in the gnarly stuff but these are definitely a good accessory to have as well as your normal mountain bike but i think that pretty much sums up the e-bikes on adventure daily i hope these videos didn't deter you from the channel at all and like i said several times i don't want to dilute adventure daily with a bunch of e-bike reviews that i'm not really passionate about so that's why you've seen less and i'm going to be very picky choosy from here on out if you made it this far thank you for the support i really appreciate it i'll end this video out with some cinematic shots of me riding the nomad but that is it for the velotrix series looking forward to seeing what comes next with this brand but until the next video always remember to live free an adventure daily.